Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to 5 Minutes Code Channel, where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of Fleet Code and Geeks or Geeks within less than five minutes. So, without wasting time, let's get started. So, today's problem is count inversions, which is marked as a medium level problem. Let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. So, we will be given one array ARR of integer types, and its length can be anything from 1 to 10 raised to the power 5, and the elements will be having range from 1 to 10 raised to the power 4. Okay, all right. And what we have to do? So we have to, uh, let's say, return the inversion count in the array. Now you will be thinking, what is inversion count? What is inversion count? You sure will be thinking. Okay. So look, two elements, ARRI and ARRJ, form an inversion if ARRI is greater than ARRJ and I is less than J. Okay. Isn't it sound confusing? Yes, it sound confusing. So I will explain you in a very, very simple terms. Look, 2, 4, 1, 3, 5. This is our array which is given. For 2, how many elements are after 2 which are less than 2? For this, how many elements are there after this, after 0 index, which are less than 2? Okay, so one element is there, that is 1. Okay, I will count 1. Alright, same thing I will do for 4. How many elements are there for 4 which is less than 4? 2 elements are there, 1 and 3. Okay, so I will do 2. Alright, after that, after that, how many elements are there for 1, which is after 1, after 1 in this side only, and which is less than 1? 0. Okay. How many elements are after 3, which is less than 3? 0. How many elements are after 5, which are uh, less than 5? 0. So, total count is what? Total count is 3. Okay. Alright. So, this is what we have to calculate. This is what we have to calculate. Alright. If you will see this example, how many elements are there after 2, which are less than 2? 0. How many elements are after 3? which are less than 3, 0, okay, isn't it? So, we will keep on doing this and uh, till the last and I will get the count, let's say I will keep on increasing the count, okay, all right, so this can be one potential solution and this is what inversion count is as well. So, you can also read the definition here, inversion count indicate how far the array is from being sorted, okay, all right, how far the array is from being sorted. So, basically, total number of inversions which I have to make to make the array sorted, that is inversion count and what is it in practical, I have already explained you with two examples, okay, all right. So, if the array is sorted, you can see this array is sorted, this array is also sorted. So, if the array is sorted, there are no inversion counts, but if the array is reverse, there are maximum inversion counts. So, this is just a very a basic knowledge of information of inversion count. Okay, all right. I hope the problem statement will be clear, guys, to everyone. If yes, it's great. Okay, let's take one more example. Let's take one more example. 4, 2, 3, 5, 1. So now I want you to please pause the video and uh, tell in yourself what will be the inversion count of this. Okay, all right. Let's see. Let's see once. So after 4, after 4, how many elements are, which are, how many elements are there, which are less than 4? 3 elements are there. 2, 3, 1. Okay, all are less than 4. Okay, so I will do 3 count. All right. After that, after that 2. How many elements are there after 2 which are less than 2? 1. Okay, all right. Let's take this 3. So, how many elements are there after 3 which are less than 3? 1. How many elements are there after 5 which is less than 5? 1. And how many elements are there after 1 which is less than 1? 0. Okay, all right. So, total count will be what? Total count will be 6. Okay, all right. So, 6 will be our answer. Now, if you will see, I can use our nested loop. One pointer I will keep at this 4 and uh, second pointer I start after i plus 1 and keep on adding the count and simply return it. But, but the time complexity here will be with this approach will be n square. And if you will see 10 raised to the power 5 is the ARR size. n square will result in 10 raised to the power 10 or 10 raised to the power 9 and I will get TLE. I will get time limit exceed. Okay. All right. So, we have to think of any other solution. We have to think of any other solution and one solution is which we are will be implementing as well which is using merge sort algorithm which is using merge sort algorithm. So, what I will do? I will simply um, keep on dividing this array into small small steps. Keep on dividing this array into small small steps and uh, like small sub arrays. Count the conversions in those sub arrays sort that much subarray and then merge them then merge them again and again so yeah this is what we are going to do okay i know it will be sounding a bit confusing to you but i will explain it with such uh, detail that it will become crystal clear to you okay all right so i hoping i'm hoping the problem explanation problem statement will be clear if yes please hit the subscribe button and like button okay all right now move now let's move to the another step how are we going to solve this okay 4 2 
three five one. Okay. So what I will do in the first step is I will simply divide this array into small small parts. Okay. So let me write it something up. Okay. Let's say here four two three five one. Okay. First of all, we will divide it into small small sub arrays. Okay. So first sub array will be let's say let's say we divide it in this part. Okay. So first sub array will be four. Two, okay. After that, it will be three, five, one. Okay. Again, this will be divided into two parts, four and two. And again, this will be divided into two parts, three, five, one. Three in one sub array and five, one in another sub array. Okay. And again, it will be divided into five and one. Okay. All right. So in this way, we will first of all divide it. So dividing does not mean I will make new arrays. We will simply pass. left will be my pointing here left right will be pointing here and mid will be i will be calculating mid and passing the mid okay so in this way we will be dividing all right now look after that what i told is so after 4 and 2 i will count the inversions like basic only two length array is there so if it is already sorted no issues but if it is not sorted what i will do i will count the inversion let's say one inversion is there and again return the sorted array okay so now the array is sorted okay 2 4 array is sorted similarly 5 1 the array is not sorted so what i will do two length array is there i will count the inversion and i will again sort them okay so 5 1 will here become 1 5 let's do here only 5 1 will become 1 5 okay all right now the count is inversion count is 2 okay all right so 2 4 is done now and that's why is what you can see 3 is one part and 1 5 another okay so again count the inversion of it again count the inversion of it let me tell you how are we counting so i just was waiting for some array to be big so that i can explain so 3 is 1 l will be here okay mid will be here as well and right will be here okay all right so whenever mid will be i will make my j pointer to greater than mid okay i will make my j pointer greater than mid okay so mid was there now what i will do i will keep on like say 3 is there okay so i will increase my j pointer i will increase my j pointer till the index till the index where uh, 3 is now less than now 3 is less okay so first of all 1 is there at j so yeah 3 is greater than 1 i will increase my j pointer i will increase my j pointer to here okay all right so j pointer is increased now 3 is less than 5 okay all right that's it so now one inversion was there j was moved once okay all right so three inversions are there after that i will simply use arrays dot sort method to sort this okay now array will be sorted 1 3 5 5 okay all right so let me delete all these things then and then i will continue i think i have deleted too much but uh, yeah so basically i am uh, simply counting the inversions on merging and after that i will i'm just uh, merging the array okay so yeah something like this now what was the array 4 2 3 5 1 so if you saw if you saw this much array was sorted this much array was sorted to 2 4 okay this much was this much array was sorted to 1 3 5 in the previous step first i have already deleted okay i hope these two points will be clear okay now i now our low so uh, again you you know in recursively i will be keep on returning and at last my in the previous step i will be going okay so and this here l my lower limit will be this l okay mid middle will be till this point okay and right side will be here okay right side will be here okay all right so now look what i will do i will start my i as i told i will start my i from here j will be middle plus 1 J will be middle plus one. I want you to be very very focused at this point. Okay, all right. So J will be increased. J for two. J will be increased till two is less than J. Two is less than ERR of J. Two is less than ERR of J. So J will be increased once. Okay. Now new J will be here. New J will be here and J is increased once. So I will simply add one here. Okay. All right. Now look. Now look. Four. So. after that i is done like i 2 is done 2 is uh, count of inversion for 2 is done so i will be moved to 4 i will be moved to 4 okay all right now look j will not be reset to 1 j will not be reset to 1 why because if this array is sorted this array is sorted first of all okay so if if 2 is less than 1 if 2 is a uh, 2 is greater than 1 then 4 will already be greater than 1 4 will already be greater than 1 okay so i will not reset my j to 1 again i will be having j my J at three only. Okay, all right. So again, I will keep on increasing J. I will keep on increasing J till ARR of J is greater than I ARR of I. Okay, so J will be increased once. 
j will be increased once okay j will be here now you can again see ki now arr of i is less than arr of j okay so how many steps of j is moved how many step of j is moved so i will not count like j is only moved once no i am not starting j from the very beginning but i will count it i am not starting it from the very beginning but i will count it so j is moved two times okay so simply do this okay so count and after that this array is sorted this array is sort uh, total inversions are counted so what i will do i will simply sort this whole array okay so whole array after sorting will be 1 2 3 4 5 now there are no sub arrays remaining and i have got our answer that is 1 1 1 1 2 6 okay 6 was the original answer as well i hope this approach is clear this point is very very important ki two sub arrays will be i am having two sub arrays and for arr i till arr i will be less than till arr i will be greater than arr of j i will keep on increasing j and when it is settled i will keep the count of j how many times j is increased to the our answer okay all right all right i hope this will be very very clear to you and now we can move to the coding part guys okay but if you love the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video okay all right so let's simply go to the coding part and uh, yeah let's go so first thing which i will be doing is return Uh, let's make one function merge sort okay so here i will be passing two things first of all arr and then second thing will be my starting index and after that third thing will be my arr dot length minus one which will be my right side left side and right side okay all right so let's uh, take it let's receive it here static int merge sort so we are uh, using the divide and conquer algorithm int of arr after that int l left will be there after that int right will be okay three uh, params i'm receiving here first of all if you know recursive we i have to add a base condition i have to add a base condition so if my left is greater than or equal to right it means there is only one element or no element look left will be my left limit for starting left will be 2 and uh, like index 2 and right will be 5 but if at any point if at any point my left is greater than right my left is greater than right it means there are no elements but if left is equal to right if left is equal to right means left is also this right is also this it means there is only one element so there will not be any inversion in one element okay so we will simply return zero okay all right so let's write return zero all right moving on next step will be to calculate the middle so int mid will be equal to l plus left plus right divided by 2 okay all right after that what i will do i will recursively use merge sort in the left side in the left side okay so in the left side what i will do let's say left inversion okay will be equal to merge sort i will be using okay and in the merge sort uh, i will be now passing arr left and and what middle okay so now this will be our new sub array on the left side again i will be having one right inversion as well let's say right inversion will be merge sort of so mid is passed now mid plus 1 and right something like this okay all right after that after that what i have to do i have to let's say merge the array i have to merge the both array okay so after that int m let's say m is equal to merge there will be a new function merge and it will be receiving all the three points arr of i left mid and right okay all right and at last simply return left inversion plus right inversion plus middle okay all right now we have to write this merge function okay let's go again static int merge and here i will be getting three things first of all arr then second thing is left then second thing is mid then the last thing is right okay all right so what i told first thing what i told if you remember i will be using int j is equal to mid plus 1 okay because mid is pointing to the previous array now i want a pointer to the next array like the two sub arrays were there na so the second sub array is first one first one so it will be j mid plus 1 okay all right i will be having another pointer count is equal to 0 okay now what i will do i will simply run a loop from i is equal to i is equal to left if you remember i is equal to left and i is less than equal to mid i plus plus okay all right after that after that you remember ki there were two sub arrays there were two sub arrays first one second one okay so for the first one 
like I will start one loop from here. I will start another loop from here, and this loop will continue till this loop will continue till ARR of i is uh, greater than ARR of j. Okay, if you remember, I will I'm hoping you, you guys are remembering. So what I will do while j is less than equal to right side. Okay, because I don't want to go out of the bound. And then what I said ARR of i is greater than ARR of j. Simply do count plus plus, or oh, sorry, simply do j plus plus. Okay, all right. After that, when I come to after this loop, what I told, I will be updating my count. So count will be updated that many times j has moved. Okay, so count will be equal to how many times j has moved? So current j position, current j position minus the original j position. Original j position was mid plus one. Okay, so simply do mid plus one here. And at last, what I will do? What I told at the last, if you remember, I will simply solve the array. ARR and from which to which from left to right plus one. Why? Because right is not included. The last index is not included. It is excluded. So I have to do plus one. And at last, simply return count. Okay. So that is it. It is the video has become a bit long, but I think it's worth it because I have uh, put a lot of effort in explaining as well. So expected output is coming correct. Let's submit this. And uh, I don't think that we need a dry run because I have already dry run it once with full explanation. Okay, all right. So I have got my gig bit. And uh, guys, do we need a um, revision of this um, dry run? I think you guys can do it on yourself. Please do the dry run. If you are stuck at any point, please ask in the comment section. And I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye.